Hey guys, I'm Alan with Edge Auto Sport, and today I'm going to be installing this three port boost control solenoid from Grim Speed on my 2016 WRX. The Grim Speed three port EBCS is faster acting than the stock solenoid, and it's going to give you more consistent control over boost. Let's take a look at what comes in the kit. The Grim Speed boost controller is a fairly simple install. It comes pre mounted on this. CNC billet aluminum adapter for the stock inlet pipe. It also has a plug and play harness. So all you have to do is remove the stock boost controller off the inlet pipe and install this and plug it in. It also comes with all the necessary tubing that you're gonna need for the install, as well as some zip ties and a couple of screws to mount this to the inlet pipe. So the first thing you need to know about this install is that it's all done from the bottom. You got to get the skid plate and the under tray off, and then you have access to the inlet pipe where the boost controller is mounted. There are 13 plastic clips and six 12 millimeter bolts standing in your way. So let's get those off. This is the stock boost controller that we'll be removing and replacing with the Grim Speed unit. It sits on top of the turbo inlet pipe and to do that we'll need to remove this turbo inlet pipe. In order to get the turbo inlet pipe off the car we'll disconnect the intake, the clamps going to the turbo inlet pipe with all these hoses, and the bypass valve up here. We also need to take the two 10 millimeter bolts that connect the inlet pipe to the turbo off. So here we have the turbulent pipe off the car and the boost controller is still connected with uh, two Phillips head screws. So we're going to remove those and then we can put the Grim Speed boost controller on the inlet pipe. The Grim Speed boost controller, the, the billet piece, fits down in the turbo inlet pipe and it has an o-ring to seal it. So you want to make sure that's on there before you install. It might help if you put a little oil on the o-ring in order to help it slip in there better.
Right now that it's mounted on there, we're ready to put it back in the car. Once the intake's connected, we can also connect the hoses that go to the turbo inlet pipe. Make sure you reconnect the clamps as well. And don't forget the hose that goes to the bypass valve. Now that everything is reconnected, we can connect the hose that Grimspeed supplies to the boost source and to the wastegate. We'll start with the boost source, which is right here. This is what supplies boost to the boost controller, and that's gonna connect to port three on the boost controller. You'll wanna measure the hose to the boost source to make sure that it's a good fit. Uh, you don't want it to be too tight, uh, but you don't want it to be too loose either, so you just wanna find that perfect fitment. Next, we'll want to do port two to the wastegate. Now that everything's been reconnected, we are going to plug in the boost controller. And we're gonna route it right through here. Lastly, you wanna make sure and zip tie everything so that nothing comes loose or leaks. In order to keep the harness from flopping around, I'm gonna also zip tie that. 